In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some cryptocurrency fans with their data store transaction. Is it the right time to invest in the performance market? Stay tuned to find out. Like many startups today, Coin All The Things is riding the cryptocurrency wave. And in order to provide real-time dashboards, they mirror all validated blockchain transactions back to data store so that customers can look at historical records. Sadly though, they quickly ran into an issue with their read-write performance, uh, being limited to only about one entity update per second, far slower than what they needed. Thankfully, I was able to reach out to some fellow advocates who were able to help track down the problems. Uh, after a few emails and a couple hours of looking at their tech stack, we were able to pinpoint a critical optimization for their data store usage, transactions and batching. Uh, see, in a hurry to get their code up and running, Coin All The Things did a lot of copy pasting from sample references and ended up in a place where each of their calls executed as a single action. And since each request has its own transactional overhead, this quickly became the bottleneck during high performance workloads. The solution, of course, was to batch these sets of calls together into a single HTTP request so that the overhead is lowered across the entire set of updates. Now, there's two primary ways to do batching in data store. Uh, the first is transactions, which allow a set of operations to be atomic. That is, either the entire set succeeds or it fails. Uh, there's no chance of half of the update to have occurred, which is really helpful when wanting to enforce consistency to your observers. Sadly though, transactions are only limited to a set of 25 operations at a time. This is where the batching APIs come in. Uh, they don't have the same size restrictions and they don't do updates atomically. So observers should take eventual consistency into account when interacting with the database. Now, head to head, we can see that both transactions and batching outperform their linear counterparts. But to be clear here, each of these tools are valuable for a specific use case and shouldn't be adopted universally without understanding the trade-offs. Now for coin all the things, the choice was clear. They split some of their operations between batching and transactions, depending on the consistency model they needed, and saw performance skyrocket along with their ICO value. If you'd like to know more about these topics, check out the article listed in the description below. And don't forget to check out the rest of the Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts. Mm -hmm.